Namaste. Shatavadani Dr. R. Ganesh is the only Shatavadani in Karnataka, a polyglot, an author in Sanskrit and Kannada, an extempore poet in multiple languages. He is the only leading tradition in Karnataka, thus he is credited with reviving the art of Avadhana in Kannada. He is also credited with introducing Chitrakavya tradition in Avadhana, previously considered as most impossible thing in Avadhana. He has performed more than 1000 avadhanas in Kannada and Sanskrit, Telugu, Prakrit languages. He is known for his extempore spontaneous composition of poetry during the avadhana performances and also of Chitrakavya. He has even set a record by composing poetry for 24 hours continuously. He has also performed the first ever Shatavadana purely in Kannada in the year 2012. Also recently in Bangalore, he performed his thousandth Avadhana with great success. His contribution towards Ekshagana also been a remarkable, not only through the study or writing books and articles, but also direction towards performance field is incredible. Ekavikti Ekshagana has been conceptualized through his brilliance. Along with that, the insight towards reconstruction of Ekshagana dance and other techniques, application of Natyashastra, especially aspects of Angika, Nayika concepts, the aesthetic outlook given to female costume, new performance concepts like Bhamini and other Ekavikti Ekshagana performance and storylines, and writing poetry for such unique classic reproductions, what not. Many newness has proposed to Yakshagana field today has been created in a unique way by none other than our Shatavadani Dr. Arganesh. Now, it is the time to have a direct interaction with him about his ideas, thoughts and experiences. Welcome you sir. Namaskar. Sir, please tell us what made you get into contact of Yakshagana? Huh, it's a wonderful story. I'm always interested in Indian culture and Indian art, mm -hmm. especially in Indian dance and theater. Since my childhood, Indian dance and theater influenced me a lot. Mm -hmm. And we know according to our tradition, theater and dance are complete art forms, composite art forms as well. Natat Gyanam, Natat Chilpam, Nasa Vidya, Nasa Kala, Naso Yogo, Natat Karma, Natyas Minyan, Nadrishyate, so says Bharata mm -hmm. in Natishastra. Mm -hmm. And hence, it was a passion. And when I was in search of uh, which type of uh, theatre from Karnataka is more closer to the Natishastric presentation, all the forms of course are all very close to Natishastra. But which living tradition is even today complete in the four aspects like Vajika, Angika, Sattvika and Aharya. Like that I was in search of it. Mm -hmm. And in my Abadhana tours, once uh, in South Kendra, when I went to a place called Sulya, mm -hmm. there I found one friend, one Sanskrit scholar of mine, who later became my good friend, mm -hmm. Professor G.S. Hegade. Okay. He told that his research is based on the Sanskrit sources of Yakshagana. Then I got interested. Mm -hmm. Before that itself, I had some reading of uh, Dr. V. Raghavan's work, Dr. Padmas Bhumi's work, and such other scholars' writings. But because of uh, that research work of Professor G.S. Hegde, I could get in contact with that. And because of my frequent tours in the Ekshagana belt, which comprises of uh, some district like, uh, like uh, uh, Shivamogga, Chikmagalur, South Kendra, North Kendra, and present day Udupi district. In all these four or five districts, when I was frequently moving, I had contact with all these art forums and even the artists. To many of my avadhanas, many Yakshagana artists, especially the Talamadale people mm -hmm. like uh, Vinteshwar Upadhyaya Korgi mm -hmm. or Prabhakar Joshi, Perla Krishnabhat, such people used to come as Prichakas. And that made me know more about them. They used to share their thoughts, they used to give their books. And even people, organizers like uh, our Ashoka Vardhana and other people, and also Udupi Yakshagana Kendra, mm -hmm. and there Professor Haridas Bhatta and now the director, Professor Henje Krishnabhatta, such people, they used to 
accompany with me, accompany me, and also they used to share their publications mm -hmm. and arrange my programs. Mm -hmm. And even I used to watch the Yakshagana performances, all that enriched my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, many of my performances, usually they used to be tagged with a full-fledged Yakshagana mm -hmm. throughout the night. Okay. Many times is when my time permitted, I used to sit there and watch throughout the night. Mm -hmm. And even in Bangalore, because of that influence, I started watching. When I was in Bharati Vidyapan for five years, Dr. H. K. Ranganath, who was a person known as an authority on Karnataka theatre, traditional theatre, he used to arrange Yakshaganas mm -hmm. and even the ballets of Shivaram Karanth, Yakshagana ballets. All these things that made me, it's a process of uh, over 10 12 years. What is the inspiration behind conceptualizing Ekavikti Yakshagana for female role? Because when I saw Yakshagana, by the time itself, I had good exposure to Kuchipudi. Mm -hmm. I had learnt a bit of it earlier in my childhood days. Mm -hmm. And then, because of my learning in Telugu, Telugu literature and Telugu tradition and culture, mm -hmm. I had good lot of exposure to the development and conceptualization of Kuchipudi mm -hmm. from the Ekshagana, Bhagavat Mela, Kalapa to the solo performances. Mm -hmm. And also, I had good lot of exposure to Odyssey, Saudir Bharatanatyam and such forms. Okay. In all these, I had noticed how the solo dance works and how solo performances present themselves and what is the theatrical element which contributed for them mm -hmm. and how, for example, in Saudir Bharatanatyam, mm -hmm. the solo performance, now it is becoming dance ballet, mm -hmm. the Nritya Natika as we call. And from Kuchipudi solo, now we have the ballet, Kuchipudi Nritya Natika. Mm -hmm. This way of fluctuations from theatre to solo performance and then from solo to theatre like that. Knowing all these things, I had in my mind, Karnataka should have something like its own format. Okay. I had a lot of uh, contact with the Nataraj Ramakrishna's productions as well mm -hmm. from Andhra. Mm -hmm. How he developed Andhra Natyam mm -hmm. based on Perni and Navajanardhanam. Mm -hmm. So a unique dance style which is special of Andhra. Why not we do something like a Karnataka style, mm -hmm. a style of dance from Karnataka, mm -hmm. something like Karnati also I had thought, a style by name Karnati itself, based on the sculptures of Karnataka, something, something. Mm -hmm. And that uh, later developed into something else mm -hmm. with the collaboration of uh, late uh, Sundari Santanam, the great dancers and student of Padma Subramaniam, mm -hmm. her Desi Karana's reconstruction where I played my own important role. Mm -hmm. And these things I have I had a, in my mind, in that time itself, I came across uh, Sri Manta Prabhakar Upadhyaya, mm -hmm. who became mm -hmm. my source of uh, Ekavikti Ikshigana, mm -hmm. in whom I saw a capable artist of great merit who would uh, create this form and develop it. And that's how it started. Okay. Please brief about Ekavikti Ikshigana technique and its performance uh, styles here. Ekavikti Ikshigana is a very special thing because unlike the other solo performances like Sadir Bharatanatyam or Kuchipudi or even Odyssey or Kathak or Satri or whatsoever, all these uh, traditional dance forms, classical forms as we call nowadays, they are present in India. Mm -hmm. There, even when a person is performing entirely alone, mm -hmm. he will be taking the role of many. It is Yekaharya. Uh, means one person will take ekaharya ekaha harati one would take the role of all characters the responsibility of all characters and doing for example padma subramanyam doing rama ayatubhyam namaha or krishna ayatubhyam namaha means she will become rama she will become ravana she will become sita she will become jatayu everything she will become mm -hmm. and this is what we are doing mm -hmm. in all traditional classical dance forms but in ekavikti ikshagana it is Ekaharya. That's why I coined a new term. Uh -huh. Ekaharya is in Nati Shastra. Uh -huh. Ekaharya is my own term. Uh -huh. Means Eka Aharya. Uh -huh. In one costume, as one character, he will be developing. Uh -huh. Aharya is costume. Uh -huh. In Yakshigana, the character is called Vesha. Uh -huh. Raja Vesha, uh -huh. Vidushaka Vesha, uh -huh. or Hasigar Vesha, yes. or Stri Vesha, uh -huh. Bandad Vesha. Like that, the costume and the character are inseparable. Okay. So, Yekaharya means, mm -hmm. Manta Prabhakarupadhyaya, when, when he comes as Rukmini, mm -hmm. 
he will be dancing the role of rukmini alone mm-hmm. when krishna or shishupala or who so ever come they will not be presented mm-hmm. their action will not be presented only the reaction of uh, rukmini towards them will be presented okay. for example when yashoda is coming on the stage krishna will never be shown mm-hmm. as an action mm-hmm. when yashoda's uh, veil is pulled by krishna mm-hmm. krishna will not be presenting as uh, pulling the veil mm-hmm. but it is yashoda who will be feeling that uh, the child is pulling the veil okay. or when draupadi is coming on the stage being dragged by dushyasana dushyasana will not be shown mm-hmm. it's only the pain of draupadi and how she protects herself and tries to avoid dushyasana that will be shown mm-hmm. so the characters of others will be presented through the reaction of the only character mm-hmm. that is ek avyakti this is a very unique thing which i developed okay. and because of that this thai mm-hmm. bhava always remains this thai of the character always remains the permanent emotion of the character as a character mm-hmm. throughout remains okay. so no other character will be coming in between okay. and this way the intensity of rasa will be more that's how i developed and this is very much in tune with yakshagana mm-hmm. yakshagana the vesha the costume and character they go together mm-hmm. and other thing is in eka vyakti ikshagana i revisited natya shastra of bharata based on the research work of dr padma subramanyam and that's why i made manta prabhakar upadhyaya to go to sundari santanam chief student of padma subramanyam to learn charya sundras das vyayamas and others and enrich the angika part of ikshagana because ikshagana is a very vibrant theater but movements are few not many variegated movements are present mm-hmm. it is the same thing with all traditional theatrical forms mm-hmm. whether it is kathakali or whether it is terukkutu uh, or whether it is kelke or doddata sannata the movements though they are attractive mm-hmm. they are not very many variegated mm-hmm. that's why i wanted to enrich that mm-hmm. and all these things have done based on the traditional roots of ikshagan okay. especially the badagatutti ikshagana that which is practiced around udupi and kundapur mm-hmm. that has a lot of beautiful angika movements okay. and that i wanted to explore mm-hmm. and also the badagatuttu of the uttar kannada mm-hmm. has lot of sattvika mm-hmm. i wanted to synthesize them both mm-hmm. i wanted to alloy them mantap as rich sattvika mm-hmm. i wanted to enrich with angika mm-hmm. and in tenkutittu they have lot of musicality many bhagavata starting from mandicha to present day dinesh ammanaya and others they use lot of ragas lot of raga lapana melody is all there and i wanted to explore this so all the three best aspects of the three three twos three systems three schools of yakshagana i wanted to club together because one advantage for me is yakshagana strivesha in all these three twos is more or less one and the same starting from the costume is one and the same and that came to me as a great help and because of my learning in music i tuned and also because of the research work of people like rajagopalacharya and shivaram karanta i got lot of uh, inspiration from their writings and their works i used more than 100 ragas in yakshagan for example in my production like yugal yakshagana it is vijay vilasa more than 80 ragas are present in janaki jivana 60 ragas oh. and being a poet i composed ekshaganas and while composing itself i tuned mm-hmm. and i choreographed mm-hmm. in that way this became a special thing mm-hmm. no particular vachika is given mm-hmm. apart from the songs mm-hmm. barring few connective dialogues which have been employed in janaki jivana and other productions mm-hmm. the songs both in the rhythmic pattern mm-hmm. that which follow the laya taala mm-hmm. and the poems which have chandas meter but no taala mm-hmm. the vitana and satana compositions mm-hmm. the padyas and padas as we call okay. have used that mm-hmm. have profusely used all these things mm-hmm. and even from the view point of lyrics also mm-hmm. uh, no yakshagana poet has used as many meters as i have used mm-hmm. and the vocabulary and even the alankaras it has been verily classical in nature mm-hmm. ah prasangas mm-hmm. ek vyakti ekshagana and yugala ekshagana mm-hmm. like the hamsa sandesha mm-hmm. or vijay vilasa mm-hmm. such things mm-hmm. and based on a character bharatanari mm-hmm. completely based on draupadi or janaki jivana completely based on sita mm-hmm. or uh, uh, something like pranaya vanchite mm-hmm. based on the life of amba mm-hmm. something something like that mm-hmm. 
based on the themes also ashtanaika themes it is uh, the first production bhamini are based on three characters krishna arpana yashoda rukmini and draupadi or based on one character radha radha raga something in that way i started developing so from the view point of lyrics music movement and even costume yeah you have a reconstructed hari also yes of course uh, all these things were done in such a way without violating the aesthetics of yakshagana making it more classical more enriching more enliving experience it is made more dense within two hours so much can be given and without imitating either bharatanatya or kathak or whatever so going to the roots means to the natya shastra through the yakshaganic tradition through the literary and musical aspects of south indian music and poetics that's how i did it how it is received by artist and mandap uh, uh, he devoted himself to that and he had his second birth through ek vyakti yakshagana and he has become an embodiment of that and he has been recognized beyond the yakshagani traditional viewers also he has invited he has been invited by very many very many forums away from yakshagana like the bharatanatya forums and the dance forums also and he has been uh, very well presented and received there and also the yakshagana world it received earlier naturally to any innovations there will be some repercussions yeah. there will be some strong reactions many has criticized that it is not yakshagana yes. but if we focus ourselves and we we have persistence in what we are doing and we in the initial days for 2 or 3 years we used to distribute self addressed envelopes to audience <laughs> and scholars come out with your objections and questions let me answer let us answer let us incorporate the positive suggestions also people like uma kanta bhatta korki venkateshwar upadhyay mahesh adkoli all such people coming from the real belt of yakshagana all these people have given positive inputs and suggestions too like that we have been developing and that's why later it became such a successful thing and it is almost seen 1500 product 1500 uh, performances it's a no mean achievement in real sense what kind of uh, changes you suggest for today yakshagana field i have written a long article itself what are the reformations and modifications needed for a total theater like yakshagana yakshagana's strength lies in spontaneity ashutva but this ashutva makes it slack and loose at times flexibility has this problem anywhere flexibility will end up in looseness to tighten that the bhagavatas of yakshagana must and should learn classical south indian music they should make swara shruti sadhana and at least know some 60 ragas in and out and then all the yakshagana performers should undergo the natya shastrik vyayamas and some basic training in charis and rathastas i don't recommend the expo exposition to karanas at least charis and rathastas they have to know they need not learn the sadir adavos or kuchipudi movements or kathak movements or whatever if they learn the reconstruction of uh, these things as done by padma subramanyam that would be enough and Uh, they should never forget that they are the characters and characters alone what happens many times in yakshagana when the artists are dancing for the songs they will be the characters when they start conversing spontaneously they become the advocates of the characters and they lose the fervor of the character and the other thing is when they are conversing they lose the natya dharmi uh, the discipline that is uh, very much present mm-hmm. very much prevalent mm-hmm. in the case of uh, people who are not well versed in ratha mm-hmm. but uh, very good artists like uh, shambhu higade or uh, our uh, kondayath kuli ramchandra higade mm-hmm. such people such great artists who have a good understanding of uh, theory and practice of yakshagana mm-hmm. they will not mm-hmm. for example people like mantap they will never come out of the mold of the character okay. that should not happen Uh, none not once the people should come out of the character and become advocates and use loose body language mm-hmm. the body language should be in tune with the character mm-hmm. that should be elevated mm-hmm. there should always be chaste to that how is the future sir yakshagana 
at any rate i think uh, it has a great future because people even today love it but uh, the problem is yakshagana has been performed as a stretched one it is not made compact it should be made compact compactness means not more than 3 or 4 hours and everything should be spontaneous at the same time lot of thinking should go on direct should come and he should work and in sahitya also though they follow taala and other pattern lyrical looseness has come into the forefront that should not happen here i think the ideal are poets like muddana and parthi subba yakshagana valmiki the first great yakshagana poet and muddana such people they show the way nowadays they are not caring for the chasteness of meter imagery and other things and it has become mere imitation yakshagana padas have lost poet there should have lot of poet and then uh, it should come out as dance and presentation on the stage these are some of the observations and all these things have been enumerated in my long articles which are compiled in the form of a book by name yaksharatri whom do you think that uh, who will become successor of manta prabhakar upadhyay i don't know because i don't even believe that uh, a successors are taking the art forward or such things who have to do who has to do all these things i don't know because if it has sattva it will certainly pave way one or the other would come into the forefront and take it if not it will have its natural death but how long it lived is a secondary question how beautifully it enthralled how meaningful in its existence that's very important for example i don't know when i die how long i would live i don't know but how meaningful my life was to me and to others this is very important and to make a tradition it needs the help of long uh, system a very profound meaningful system and many people are also needed ek vyakti ikshagana long ago i told it has come as to serve a purpose to enrich the mainstream ikshagana already many people have taken our aharya it's very easy to imitate ahriyate iti aharya that can be snatched away and imitated that is called aharya now it is very popular ah, of course then they have to graduate to angika and then to vachika and lastly sattvika it's a long process and people if they can structure in the form of another dance system it's always good any number of system meaningful systems is always welcoming and then i have already started the total production and that was in the vijay vilasa long ago and then as hamsa sandesha and now mantap himself has taken the lead and that's how moha menake a full fledged yakshagana production based on these values recently bharatanatya of course yes so this way uh, that uh, uh, the murida maitri murutida maitri friendship being broken that is the recent production which was done with uh, dr shobha shashi kumar that can become a full fledged production as well mm-hmm. people like uh, divakar hegde mm-hmm. such uh, people of uh, taste and relevance who have good exposure to both uh, backstage and front stage mm-hmm. activities mm-hmm. they can do lot in this direction yeah. is there possible to give social message through the ekshagana of course message is always there mm-hmm. but the intense elevated enjoyment itself is the greatest message ಕಾವ್ಯ ರಸಯಿತ ಸರ್ವೋ ನಬೋದ್ಧಾನ ನಿಯೋಗ ಭಾಕ್ ಸೋಸೇಸ್ ಭಟ್ಟನಾಯಕ ಆನಂದ ನಿಶ್ಯಂದಿಷು ರೂಪಕೇಶು ವ್ಯುತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಫಲಮಲ್ಪ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಯೋ ಪೀತಿ ಹಾಸಾದಿ ವದಾ ಸಾಧು ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮ ಸ್ವಾದು ಪರಾಂಗ್ ಮುಖಾಯ ಸೋಸೆಡ್ ಧನಂಜಯ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಶ ರೂಪಕ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆನ್ಸಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಶುಡ್ ನೆವರ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇನಿಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಡೆಲಿಷಿಯಸ್ ಫುಡ್ ವೈಟಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಎನ್ರಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ should be inseparable part of a delicious culturally rich food and uh, yakshagana is no exception to that in all our productions that has been the thing mm-hmm. and even any great art work whether it is yakshagana or not mm-hmm. it is the thing mm-hmm. and so message oriented things should not be coming to the forefront just by the name of message they will gain supremacy as good art or great art that's wrong at the same time 
मेसेज शुड नॉट बी कंप्लीटली इग्नोर्ड एज प्रोफेसर एम हिरीण से ग्रेट आर्ट वुड नॉट इग्नोर मेसेज बट इट विल हैव ए मॉरलिस्टिक व्यू बट नॉट ए मॉरलिस्टिक वे इट हैज बीन वेरी एनलाइटिंग सेशन सर थैंक यू सर फॉर थैंक्स अ लॉट वंडरफुल फॉर अलोइंग मी इनपुट सर टू शेयर माय थॉट्स थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू धन्यवाद नमस्कार नमस्कार